Hey guys, guess what? It's Tuesday! Okay, I gotta be honest with you here. Really, today's Monday, but if I tape this thing on Tuesday, then it probably won't get put on YouTube until Tuesday night, and then I can't get it loaded onto my blog until Wednesday morning, so really when I say Happy Tuesday, for me it's really Monday. But, you know, we'll work it out. Um, so anyway, Happy Tuesday! When it's really Monday. So it's Try Tuesday, and what we're going to do today is a an old um, idea from Elsie Flanagan. Um, the book is, what is it called? 52 Scrapbooking Challenges. It's by Elsie Flanagan. She put it out, I guess it's probably been like, has it been two years now? Where's the little copyright information? Um, 2006, yeah. When this book came out, oh my gosh, we were freaking out about it. Elsie was the hottest thing. She's still pretty darn awesome though, isn't she? She's cute as can be and she can do those really cool pages. Um, and she wears cute stuff in her hair like this. I want to wear cute stuff in my hair, but I just, you know, for right now, my biggest concern is just trying to sit up straight like this so that you can't see how dark my roots are. See, if I sit up like this and it cuts the top of my head off, you don't notice that my roots are two inches long. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Jamie's got to go get her hair done. Anybody got $85 I can borrow? Oh, okay. So, anyway, sit up straight so you can't see my roots. So, what we're going to do is out of Elsie's 52 Scrapbooking Challenges book. Um, it is, we're going to play with some ribbon, is what we're going to do. Um, where is it? I just had it. Okay, here it is. It's on page 121, and it is make your own embellished ribbons, is what we're going to do today. We're making our own embellished ribbons. And so, what she says to do, it's just a two-step process, which is good because steps that get too much longer than two steps can get kind of confusing even though I can't do the two steps, so I get confused with that. Um, it says you're going to take ribbon, like she says white ribbon, twill tape, or rick rack, with a, and you're going to paint it with acrylic paint. So how easy is that? And then after you um, paint it, you're going to let it dry for a little bit, of course, and then you're going to add fun embellishments, such as stitching, buttons, flowers, jewels, or polka dots. So, see how cute, can you see that? How she has the... Um, she took just a plain old boring tan twill tape and put those cute little buttons on it. So that's what we're going to do. Alright? Alright. Okay. So I dug out this ribbon from my ribbon stash. I've had it forever. I think I got it at Michael's a gazillion years ago. And, um, and I used some of it for a page, but it's this bright, crazy, daisy, floral, pink and yellow thing going on. So it's so bright and so recognizable that I really have only used it on one layout and then after that I didn't want to put it on any more layouts except for like when I do scrapbooks for other people or whatever but I really don't want these daisies showing up time and time again into my books so I've just kept it rolled up for using for other projects and things um, so I thought it would be a great idea to use this for our technique from Elsie so we're going to transform the, um, the ribbon I don't know why we can't think of these things on our own. Well, you probably can, but I can't. i got to have somebody like Elsie telling me what to do. Okay, so I went ahead and cut a 12-inch strip of this ribbon because um, I'm going to use it in... Um, I'm doing a little 6x12 um, book about our summer vacation up to Tennessee. So this is what it's going to go in there. So I flipped it over where it's white on the back, but you can still kind of see the daisies through it. So you can't just use it like white because you would totally see the daisies through it. Um, I'm using the Adirondack Lights Acrylic Paint Dauber in the color Sandal. Yes, Sandal. This is by Ranger, right? Yeah, Ranger. It's a little dauber. It's kind of like a bingo dauber, you know. I-52. B-12. See how easy that is? It just daubs. See? Little daubs. Loop. Loop. Okay, well, maybe you have... Okay. Just trust me. It blobs. So we're going to take our dauber and I'm going to paint. What am I going to do? I'm going to paint my ribbon. And I'm just daubing it on here. Blah, 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 blah. So this could take a few minutes, okay? 
So, but see, look. It's just going on there just like that. Just like Elsie said it would do. <gasps> cool. All right. Let me get to work. We'll go back in just a minute and see what's going on. Okay, okay we're back. Um, I've daubed and blobbed. And now, look what I have. My daisy ribbon. See, there's the daisies on the back. Oh, but you can't see them on the other side, can you? No, because it's this lovely sandal color. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it dried super fast. It's still a little tacky, but, I mean, five minutes after it dried, I mean, after I painted it, it, it was dry. Um, I cut the little V's on each end because, well, just because. So now I'm going to take my ribbons. I went ahead and I picked out a bunch of ribbons out of my bag of, can I say ribbons? Buttons. Buttons, not ribbons. This is the ribbon. These are the buttons. Bag of buttons. So here we have them. I know. Isn't that cute? I'm sure some of you have your buttons organized by color and cute little um, receptacles and things. But for me, I love them in this big giant bag. <laughs> That makes me feel happy. Don't you love a bag of buttons? Yeah. Okay. Shut up, Jamie. Shutting. Okay. So I'm going to now put the buttons that I picked out onto my ribbon. I'm just going to put them on there with some scrappy glue. I know if I was Elsie Flanagan, I would stitch them on. But honestly, I'm just not that much of an overachiever. I'm okay with just gluing the suckers on there. Um... And then maybe after I get them all on there, I might stitch a couple of them. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let me get to gluing, and I'll start working on the page, and we'll get back with the finished product, okay? Okay, here we go. We're done. This was a totally quick and easy page, because I am doing this for my, um, for my vacation album. It's 6 by 12 pages, so you can get a lot put on them in a little bit of time. Um, I got a little button happy, but hey, why not? So I use, and I'm, I'm hoping that when I lift this up, all my buttons aren't going to fall off because the glue's still wet. 6 by 12. This is the road trip page. I've already done one road trip page, and this is with, like, the sights and the scenery. And this is the accompanying page, um, documenting the fact that I read Elizabeth Slepp and David fumed you know, the whole road rage thing that I posted about a while ago. So, so here's what we did. See the ribbon down here at the bottom? Is it hard to see? I'll scan it in, but I bet it's going to scan blurry because the buttons are so lumpy. But we'll see what happens. So, as you can see, did the little ribbon, put the buttons on it. You can still see some of the glue oozing through the holes. Um... It's a heavy page with all these buttons on it, man. Goodness gracious, that's a chunker that's going in my album. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty easy, quick and easy. Um, I journaled around the photos to say that we were drugged up on Dramamine and David was high on rage. So there you go. Another Try Tuesdays in the book. Bye-bye.